What you can see here in front of you is my day to day very simple setup that I mostly use for editing my videos on this channel. It's not much and since I started the channel I did make an upgrade because initially I was editing on my 2018 iPad Pro but since then I got the M1 Mac Mini and this is the base model and I have to say for what I'm doing here on the channel and as I'm still learning I'm still at the beginning of this journey I think this is more than enough for me. But recently I've started using the Steam Deck more and more and not only for gaming. So that's why I wanted to give the Steam Deck a try and see if I can use this small device for doing at least some basic editing. So let's go ahead through this process and see how the Steam Deck reacts for one of my videos that I will be doing for this channel. Ok, so here we are, my very simple setup using the Steam Deck as a full-fledged PC. And what I use for this setup is an USB-C dock that allows me to plug in the USB receiver from this keyboard as I don't have an extra Bluetooth keyboard laying around, plus the HDMI cable that I unplugged from my Mac Mini and now it's plugged into the USB-C dock. I will try to link every accessory that I use down in the description or at least similar ones that I really recommend. Alright, so now that the setup is ready, now we can actually go and search for the editing software. I did some googling before starting this video and apparently there are two main ways on how to do this. One is using Hidden Live, I hope I pronounce it correctly, and the other one is using DaVinci Resolve, which is a very known software, especially for Windows, but you can also use it for Linux. But for this video I will use Kid and Live because it looks to be a really simple software for editing videos. In order to install this software, you can either look for it using your web browser, and I have the download page over here in front of me, or you can simply go to the Discover over here and start typing the name of the application. And once you hit enter, you will see that the application can be found in the Discover. So now that we have the application over here, we just hit launch and the video editor will open. To be honest, I don't really have too much experience doing any video editing. I am doing this for the channel, but I'm learning down the way. The only softwares that I've used so far are LumaFusion for the iPad and Final Cut Pro for the Mac OS. So I don't really know what to expect for other software editors. So I really hope that I'm able to do this short video here using the Steam Deck. Alright, so I have here on the Steam Deck screen the folder with the videos that I will be using for today's video. And actually this is a short that I want to do for the channel. I have over here all the videos available. Keep in mind that this will be a very basic video editing because I didn't know what to expect and I wanted to start first with a short that will be fast and simple. So let's try adding a couple of videos here on the timeline. The first video was added successfully and here we can see a preview of the video itself and over here we see the live footage of our timeline. So what I need is this one to be bigger, at least this is how I edit and let's play it again and see if we need to do any cutting. What I can do is trim it just a bit at the beginning and let's see how that works. I see here a scissor icon, so I believe this is the cut option. So I can stop over here and cut it. And then if we select it and hit delete, yeah, delete works. This is how you do a basic cut using this icon. So we can move over to the next video. Okay, so this one I know that I need to use, so I'll just drag it over here. For now I'll keep it as it is and we can move over to the next one. Okay, I'll add also this one. Unfortunately, this USB-C hub that I'm using is not allowing any audio pass-through, so the Steam Deck will not be able to output any audio anymore because of this dock. I'll just have to add some Bluetooth headphones in order to do the video editing. I have over here some Jabra headphones that I mostly use for the Steam Deck, so I'll go ahead and use these ones. I'll actually use this second video. I need to do some trimming over here. 
apparently this allows you to cut directly from the video and that's good because I also do this in Final Cut Pro but I also need to cut this middle part over here alright so we can stop this clip over here and we can do the trimming until this point and that's perfect and I think that worked great and actually the audio is pretty good for this first part and have a bit too much background noise so I need to reduce the volume and let's see if I'm able to do that just for this clip somehow I don't know if it is an easier way but the way that I found to be what I'm looking for is to simply separate the audio from the video and then you can just mute the full timeline and now if we hit play again now this is exactly what I was looking for alright so now it's time to move over to the next video okay so this is the clip that I need so now I can just drag it over here shorten it a bit hit play then we can do a bit of cutting then I need this clip over here even though I'm not talking so now what I need to find is how we can increase the speed of this clip so if we right click I think I've seen these options over here so yeah we have here change speed and then if we go maybe yeah 300% and let's see what we have over here and I think it's exactly what I want so now I can put the clip back together so as you can see even zooming in and zooming out the trackpad works perfectly and this is something that I'm doing very often in Final Cut using the magic trackpad and what I want to do over here is just remove this gap because I took a bigger pause than I wanted to so I can easily cut this part out and now if we select it and then delete and put the clip back together let's hit play again and now it's perfect I should be in the 57 mark so basically this is less than one minute and this is exactly what I'm looking for a YouTube short if you pass that one minute mark then YouTube will not consider it a short anymore so be careful when you are doing this kind of videos alright so now that I have everything done what I want to do is go back to the beginning and listen to it again and see if everything is as I planned I'm adding a bit of fade over here because I have a noise, a cracking sound that I don't really like. Okay, so for me, I think this is exactly what I want. By the way, for this video, I will not do any effects or color grading because I usually don't do this in Final Cut as well. I just use my phone to do every video here on the channel. So most of the time, I don't really need to do any color correction. I'm still learning. So for now, I'm keeping them as they are. So now I can just export this video and we will see how much it takes to export this 57 second clip. In this software, I can do this using the render button and then click again on render. And here I have a couple of options and especially the codecs that I want to use. And for this video, I'll use this codec over here, H264. I can put a different name of the file and I'll make sure to test a couple of these ones just to see how they work. And I already exported it twice just to see if this one is working, but I'll do it again just to confirm that this is a live rendering of the video. So if I click on render to file, now we can wait and see how long it takes. As you can see, it's in line with the previous run. As long as the export time is less than the actual footage, I'm more than happy. And this demonstrates that the Steam Deck is more than capable of doing at least some basic video editing. And for what I want, this is more than enough. And over here you can see all the three export files. So the export was a success. And now I can just simply go to YouTube directly on the Steam Deck. And I can also upload this file to YouTube Studio. And actually we can just do that right now. 
Okay, so as a final step, I don't even have to get the file out of the Steam Deck because I can simply go to YouTube Studio right here on the browser on the Steam Deck. I can log in with my Tech Unravel account and I can just simply select the file that I want to upload. And if I go to here to videos and then select the one that I want, Now you can see that the file is currently uploading. Basically, I can do all the steps from start to finish with editing and also uploading on YouTube. And I can do this exactly as I would do on my Mac mini. I will not wait for the video to upload, but you get the idea. Once this is done, I can just simply publish this video and everything is done right from the Steam Deck. So I hope this demonstrates what the Steam Deck is capable of and not only for gaming. And I've used this device in the past also for media consumption like YouTube and Netflix while traveling. So I didn't need to bring my iPad or other laptops with me. And now again, another thing that you can see I'm able to do with the Steam Deck. I'm not saying that I will do this quite often, but if I do take the keyboard and mouse with me, I can easily do this while I'm on the go. That's it for now. This is the Tech Unravel and I'll catch you in the next one.